the day demon of the goetia that causes men to be impotent or couples to be infertile, causing women to adore and love men, has the name of Duke Zeppar. Okay? The way in which Duke Zeppar causes women to be unproductive and desolate is actually by turning a woman's desire towards becoming sexually attractive to men by doing all that men ask them to do, especially when it comes to their you know, personal behavior and their appearance. Okay? That this behavior will result in the woman being unproductive, okay? Unproductive when it comes to having children, due to men's fierce jealousy of women and their ability to create and feed children. For example, men will tell women to be thin, having an hourglass shape, which is the form of the crescent moon, while a pregnant woman has the shape of a full moon, which is the Messiah. Okay, that's the Messiah, a pregnant woman's belly, okay? With the new moon being the anti-Messiah and the blood moon being a woman's blood cycle or blood moon. Keep in mind that a new moon is when a woman is able to be impregnated. So the anti-Messiah is when she's actually able to be impregnated. Of course, you can't impregnate her when she's pregnant. So understand that, okay? And this is in a metaphorical application to a human woman cycles that don't always match up to the moon in modern life because of the constant use of artificial lighting. That's right, artificial lighting, okay? That causes the women's cycles to be not in sync with the moon anymore. It happens through the pineal gland, okay? And the full moon and the light and all of that. That's how it happened before there was a lot of artificial lighting. Now, Men will also tell these doting women to have a career, okay, before having children, which will result in making such women unfruitful from either starving themselves into anorexia, waiting too long to have children, or injuring themselves through either self-harm or surgeries trying to become attractive to men. We're talking about unnecessary surgeries to become more attractive, not necessary surgeries. So understand there's a big difference between an unnecessary surgery and a necessary surgery, okay, that's for health. Yeah, this is just for be concerned about how they look, and it becomes non-productive, okay? Makes them unfruitful, makes them so they, they're not going to tend to produce children. Just like circumcision makes a man less likely to have children. He can still do it, but he's less likely to do it. Okay, now fruitful women remain in a more natural state with healthy body weight and without self-harm or allowing men to perform unnecessary surgeries upon them, so not letting them perform these unnecessary surgeries upon them. Duke Zeppar appears as a warrior wearing red garments and red military armor, okay? Also, his planetary influence is Venus, the bright morning star. Venus is the goddess of love to the Romans and Aphrodite to the Greeks is, is also Venus. Now, Venus is known as Noga, in Hebrew, that's the name of the planet, is Noga in Hebrew, or Lahamu in Sumerian, okay? Also, Venus is called Lucifer, son of the morning, in Isaiah 14, 12, in the Webster Bible translation, and also Jesus, in Revelation 22, 16, where Jesus says, I am the root and the offspring of David, the, and the bright and morning star. So Jesus is Lucifer, is Venus, is the same planet that used to be, be a queen of heaven and Venus and Aphrodite and the men sort of wanted to take it over. Okay, Again, jealousy. Now the Mesopotamian Anunnaki goddess Ishtar and her equivalent Semitic goddess Astarte are the sources from whence the word star derives. 